Carl Sagan, uh, you talk about this, discuss uh, Carl Sagan in your book. Um, he has he impacted you a lot. He, he How does sure Carl Sagan impact did. you as a climate scientist? And also, what, what was his impact when you, while you was writing the book? Yeah, you know, and and I would say, you know, his legacy, uh, we still see the legacy of Carl Sagan today, uh, the great Neil deGrasse Tyson, uh, foremost climate uh, science communicator today, um, actually was directly influenced by Carl Sagan. Carl Sagan invited him up uh, from New York to visit with him at Cornell University when he was a high school student, a promising young high school student. And I think that interaction, um, in fact, there's a great, in, 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 in Neil deGrasse Tyson's remake of the Cosmos series, the original Carl Sagan Cosmos series, they actually get out Carl Sagan's old appointment book. And you see the whole day was crossed out and it just had Neil Tyson written in. He was going to spend the whole time talking to this, um, you know, the inner inner city kid um, who who showed signs of brilliance and and look and now Neil is 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 sort of one of our Carl Sagan's today, along with my good friend Bill Nye, and and Bill was directly influenced by him as well. Bill went uh, studied engineering at Cornell, took a class with Carl Sagan. Um, Carl Sagan encouraged him to um, to go in the direction that he did, sort of science popularization and, and communication. And certainly Sagan uh, had an influence on me. I grew up watching Cosmos um, when I was in uh, I think junior high, early high school, um, and it inspired me. It's like, wow, there are these amazing questions about our world and our universe, and you can spend your life studying them and trying to learn uh, about you know our place on this planet and our place in the universe. So yeah, it was formative for me. And it just happens that I went you know, into the field of climate science, uh, my sort of circuitous path of studies eventually led me uh, to to do my PhD in in, in climate science and uh, geosciences with uh, with an emphasis on climate modeling. And uh, as it happens, you know, Carl Sagan did some of the critical early work um, on uh, on climate. For example, the faint young sun paradox. How is it that the Earth wasn't a frozen planet? four billion years ago, and we know it wasn't frozen because there were liquid oceans teeming with microbes. Why wasn't it frozen when the sun was 30% dimmer than it is today? You do the calculations, it should have been a frozen planet. It wasn't, and Sagan realized that must mean there was a stronger greenhouse effect. And indeed, we now understand that's uh, the case. And so there's so much we can learn from the past. Um, as the sun got brighter, the planet didn't continue to get warmer and warmer because the greenhouse effect actually got lower over time in just such a way that the temperature of the planet stayed within habitable bounds. And that probably wasn't a coincidence either. Um, it ties into a, the Gaia hypothesis formulated by the great scientist James Lovelock and Lynn Margulis, Carl Sagan's one-time life partner. So it all gets very incestuous. Um, they sort of expanded upon what Sagan had found with the faint early sun paradox. And they realized that there must be something about the earth that keeps the temperature within habitable bounds, even as the sun was getting brighter. And it turns out life itself participating in the global carbon cycle helped decrease the greenhouse effect to keep the planet cool enough for life. So there are these amazing stabilizing forces in the climate, and that's a good thing. But if you hit the system too hard, and we see evidence of that in the paleoclimate record as well, it can spin out of control. And so the question is, where are we today? Are we part of that stabilizing, those stabilizing uh, forces and factors, or are we act, going to act as the destabilizing factor? And unfortunately, we're on a course where if we don't change, we will be that destabilizing factor. 